Hey, Quasi, how you doing? Uh, Cat went to bed. <laughs> so yeah, I took her place. Holy fuck, okay. Chloe, now you're making me looking this... Okay, I wa I'm, 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 I'm looking it up. Because that's not what I saw earlier. Okay, come on. Star Wars Newsnet. You must... You must have... Posted something about that. The announcement was four hours from now. Four hours ago. Aha! Okay, come on. Future Lucasfilm projects revealed. Holy fuck. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry, this just turned into a Star Wars, uh, talking about Star Wars stuff stream, but... Anywho. Today, uh... Kathleen... St staggering number of new films, series, and surprises that will expand the Star Wars galaxy like never before. Rogue Squadron. The next Star Wars feature film will be Rogue Squadron. What the fuck? Directed by, directed by Patty Jenkins? Are you kidding me? I loved Ro I loved Rogue Squadron and, and those games. High speed thrill ride. Okay. But what time is this going to take place in? Okay, then we still have the untitled Taika Waititi film. Will we know anything more about that? It's just going to be unexpected and unique. Okay. Definitely looking forward to that. Then we have the Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ten, year, ten years after the dramatic events of Revenge of the Sith. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be more like five. Debra Chow. Booyah. She's going to direct this. That one. This will truly be a day long remember as it was confirmed that Hayden Christensen will be returning as Darth Vader. Holy fucking shit. Anakin. <laughs> Fuck, Star Wars Theory must be losing his mind. <laughs> really? Hayden Christensen, it's happening. Finally, he's going to get another shot. Oh my god, I'm so excited about that. Okay, and then we have Ahsoka. Yes, that we were just waiting for confirmation on that one. Written by Dave Filoni, yes. Limited series starring Rosario Dawson, executive produced by Dave Filoni and John Favreau. Booyah! Rangers of the New Republic. Set within the timeline of The Mandalorian, this new live-action series from executive producer John Farrow and Dave Filoni will intersect with future stories and culminate into a climactic story event. Okay, so they are doing their fucking <laughs> cinematic universe. Whoa! Damn, this is fucking crazy. You guys, fuck. Holy shit, I can't even... Okay, sorry, I've just... Okay, Lando. Fucking Lando. Okay, everyone's favorite scoundrel, Lando Calrissian, will return in a brand new event series for Disney+. Plus. Justin Simeon, creator of the critically acclaimed Dear White People and a huge Star Wars fan, is developing the story. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing... Um, Charlie Scambino, no, uh, sorry, um, Donald Glover, he's gonna... Reprise that role. And or okay, so that's gonna be the the uh, the one that we already kind of heard about. And or a, ta a tense Nile baiting, blah, tense Nile biting. I can't even pronounce words anymore. A tense nail biting spy thriller created by Tony Gilroy is set to arrive on Disney Plus in 2022. Diego Luna, reprising the role of Rebel Spy Cassian Andor from Rogue One, will be joined by a fantastic new cast that includes Stellan Skarsgård, oh, Adria Arjona, Fiona Shaw, Denise Scow, Kyle Sala, and Genevieve O'Reilly as Mon Mothma. Yes, of course. Production kicked off three weeks ago in London. I kind of, I, I knew that they've already started production on that one. Okay. The Acolyte. What the hell is that? Leslie Headland, Emmy Award nominated creator of the mind bending series Russian Doll, brings a new Star Wars series to Disney Plus with The Acolyte. The Acolyte is a mystery thriller that will take the audience into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark power 
and emerging dark powers in the final days of the High Republic era. Holy fuck! We're getting it! Oh, fuck! Yeah, definitely Thrawn is going to be in the Ahsoka series. Good time to be a Star Wars fan. Yes! Okay, so that was the Acolyte. Fucking High Republic. Already getting that. So, Star Wars the Bad Batch. I kind of knew about that, but but yeah, let's, let's just... Uh, okay, the series follows the elite and experimental clones of the Bad Batch, first introduced in the Clone Wars, as they find their way in a rapidly changing galaxy in the immediate aftermath of the Clone War. Members of Bad Batch, a unique, clot, uh, a unique squad of clones who va vary genetically from their brothers in the clone army, each possess a singular exceptional skill which makes them extra extraordinarily effective soldiers and a formidable crew. In the post-Clone War era, they will take on daring mercenary missions as they struggle to stay afloat and find new purpose. The animated series will arrive exclusively on Disney+. Plus. That's going to be really interesting. Like, clones. Fucking, oof. What website are you reading off? Uh, StarWars.com. So, just the, yeah, I guess the, the official thing. And maybe Thrawn is going to be the big overarching villain for, for a lot of this. Shit, okay, that's so interesting. Fuck, we even got more... Okay, then we have something called Star Wars Visions, presenting all new creative takes on the galaxy far, far away. Star Wars Visions will be a series of animated short films celebrating Star Wars through the lens of the world's best anime creators. Awesome! The anthology collection will bring 10 fantastic visions from several of the leading Japanese anime studios, offering a fresh and diverse cultural perspective to Star Wars. Yes, yes, yes! Fuck! A droid story. A Lucasfil as Lucasfilm continues to develop new stories, the intersection of animated and visual effects offers new opportunities to explore. Lucasfilm Animation will be teaming up with Lucasfilm's visual effects team, Industrial Light and Magic, to develop a special Star Wars adventure for Disney+, Plus, a droid story. This epic journey will introduce us to a new hero, guided by legendary duo R2-D2 and C-3PO. Okay, okay. Other Lucasfilm stories. Lucasfilm is currently in pre-production on the next installment of the Indiana Jones franchise. That's uh yeah we 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 know we've known that for a little while but yeah at the helm is James Mangold I love that guy director of the Academy Award winning Ford v Ferrari and Indy himself uh, Harrison Ford will be back to continue his iconic character's journey Indy will begin shooting late spring of 2021 will arrive July 2022 and then we got Willow coming to Disney Plus will be set decades after oh oh a new Willow set. Decades after Ron Howard's 1988 movie, continuing the spirit of adventure, heroics, and humor of the original film, Warwick Davis will return in the role in the role of the Great Sorcerer. Fuck yes, Warwick. Fuck yes. I'm so happy for him. Finally, the Lucasfilm catalog is expanding further with a story that will introduce a new hero and explore an original world that feels perfectly paired with Lucasfilm storytelling. Tomi Ariyami's New York Times best-selling novel Children of Blood and Bone. The story will center around a young African girl's heart-raising quest to restore magic to her forsaken people, the Mashi. Holy f uh, guys. That's a lot. Damn, I'm 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 sorry that I like totally just changed up the stream in a way. Um, I'm just damn. So okay, movie wise, we're getting Rogue Squadron by Patty Jenkins. Shit. Okay, and then the Taika Waititi film Obi Wan with fucking Hayden back as Anakin in the suit. I said it once, and I'm I'm gonna say it again. Star Wars theory is probably losing his damn mind at the moment. Then we got Ahsoka, Rangers of the New Republic, Lando, Cassian Andor, the Acolyte, Star Wars: The Bad Batch, Star Wars: Visions, a droid story. Jesus, fuck! And don't apologize for the interruption, Chloe, at all, at all. That's just ah, oh, it's just making me so fucking giddy. Ah, <sighs> I can't even.
and her dad was a fighter pilot. Yeah, Patty Jenkins. It's it's just so. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to read the new uh, the the High Republic books and novels. Oh my God, what a big info dump! <laughs> I love it. Think we could see Maul again? Uh, if if they do something like a Crimson Dawn series, um, maybe. It's just we know where he ends up. You know, we know kind of where his his journey ends. Um, we saw that in Rebels. So, um, not expecting for him to show up in anything that so so yeah whatever happened to him between clone wars and rebels that that's what we can get into maybe fucking shit yeah i'm 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 i i might clip this and and um post it as a video <laughs> as like my live reaction to these star wars news cuz holy fucking shit i can't even that's i i'm i'm going to mention it tomorrow as well uh when when we're doing the um the Mandalorian reaction, um, episode seven, slash chapter fifteen. I'm I'm definitely gonna gonna mention it in that one as well. Um, during that, uh, I can't even talk, think, boom, mind fucking blown. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> uh kind of took me out of the game but it's it's no worries i was gonna end the stream anyway oh my god yeah and yeah you brought the news chloe you fucking brought the news <laughs> yeah the question is what do we get first is it um yeah they, they, they've started pre-production and production on a lot of these things uh, i'm sure um we might not get any of it until after Mandalorian season three, but that's all. I, I think that's the season they said that it was really gonna open up, like the universe and and branch off in different directions and um, Thrawn. Yeah, uh, I did. I don't think they confirmed it uh, here. I didn't see any confirmation on that. But Lars Mikkelsen is in talks to play Thrawn again in live action, um, and he's probably gonna make his debut in in the Mandalorian season three. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, yeah, or Bad Batch. Yeah, we, we could get that first. It's, it's an animated series, and they, they can make that a little bit quicker. Um, And, yeah, Cassian Andor is, is, is filming in London at the moment. Uh, I, I did see that interview with um, Diego Luna. Um, I, l I love that guy's enthusiasm. It's always very infectious. It's a big game. And those were some big news. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I still can't. Oh, my God. Fucking Rogue Squadron movie. That that game was one of my... It was probably the, probably my favorite game uh, for a while when I was a kid. The game called Rogue Squadron. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't. And yeah, Obi-Wan and Vader, they will actually meet. And that will make a lot of sense. Because if, if you think about the original trilogy... There's um, this this line that that Vader uh, tells Luke, where he he tells him, Obi Wan once thought as you did, and in regards to like Vader being like uh, there's still some good in Vader, and then you're still able to save him, but we never saw that during the movies, because um, Obi Wan at the end of Episode Three he did not know that Anakin had survived. So during the series, he's going to have to find that out. And I think as soon as he finds out, he's going to be like, I have to correct my mistake here. I have to go and finish the job. And then he's not going to be able to do that. But he's still going to be able to almost defeat him. But Because we also have that, that line that Vader says to Obi-Wan with, uh, when last we met, I was but the learner, but now I am the master. So he still has to sort of lose to Obi-Wan if they meet up again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's that's my theory at least. Yeah, he he does say that he hasn't he, he hasn't felt the uh, or haven't felt um, this presence in a long time. But that could like ten years is still a long time because if Obi Wan series takes place ten years after uh, Return of the Sith, Return of the Sith, Revenge of the Sith. Sorry, um, if it takes place around ten years after Revenge of the Sith, it's still ten years ish before a new hope so yeah I, I would say it's still 
that line would still make sense. And then, as I said, that line with Obi-Wan once thought as you do um, line would, would make sense as well. And Obi-Wan also telling Luke in A New Hope that he's more machine now than man, or whatever it is he says. Um, and, and yeah, how would he know that if he had if he didn't look into it? So, yeah. I think that that's going to happen and it will make a lot of sense. Um, and that's going to draw some people in. Like, come on. Here's a new Star Wars series called Obi-Wan. Oh, and Vader's in it. Like, that's really going to draw people in. Fucking hell. Ugh. I can't with these news, guys. I can't. I can't. I can't. I Whoa, what happened there? I'm messing up the stream. <sighs> okay, we're just going to end it here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk about this uh, again tomorrow uh, during the Mandalorian reaction. Or at least I'm going to mention it when we start the whole thing. And then I might post this this thing I just did here as <laughs> as a separate quick little video for YouTube just to say, hey, look at my reaction to all of these fucking amazing Star Wars news. Whoa, what the hell? I can't stop smiling. It's like someone just stuck a hanger in my mouth. One more time for the Star Wars fans. Fucking hype. Yes. Um, thank you so much for joining the stream and thank you for joining both streams today, the double stream um, with Cyberpunk 2077. I am still very hyped about this game. It's just got overshadowed by, by something here at the end.